What's up? I'm Triple Shoot. In this super quick guide, I'll show you how to fix a simple issue with Steam where you could have no audio through Steam Remote Play or Steam Remote Play together. Steam Remote Play is when you use a handheld or another device to play games streaming from your PC, and Steam Remote Play together is using another computer and another Steam account to play co op with you. So, usually with extra controllers, something like Overcooked, or another co op game. Recently, I came across this issue and had to solve it myself, so here's some super simple steps. First of all, on the host PC, the one that you're actually playing the games on, open up Steam and inside of here, click Steam in the top left, followed by settings. And then on the interface tab down here, make sure you change the client beta participation to whatever option it's currently not. So I had this issue on no beta chosen. So just the normal build of Steam. I was easily able to just fix this no audio issue by changing to the Steam beta update. If you're on the beta update right now, try changing back to just the normal no beta chosen version. Simply by just toggling this, you could very easily fix your issue. Most likely, the Steam beta should have the best compatibility and should work best for you. If neither of them work, I'd say just leave it on the Steam beta for the best chances. Once you change an option here, Steam will restart, download a small update, and then you can try again to see if that fixed your issue. For me, this did, which was fantastic, but there are a couple other things that you can try. On the same host PC, where you're playing the game, simply make sure to open up your volume mixer. So either right click your volume icon, open a volume mixer, and it'll pull up something like this. Or if you're on Windows 10, you'll see something more along the lines of this here. Either way, just make sure that on your output device, whatever it may be, Steam is not muted, as well as Steam Client Web Helper and anything else Steam related. Crank them up either to the same volume of where you're at, or just max out everything, and then max out Steam, wherever it may be, including your game, then and turn everything back down. Just making sure that all of these Steam instances aren't muted is probably more than enough. If one was, this could be the solution to your issue. The same goes for using this mixer here. Simply find Steam, Steam Web Helper, etc., and just make sure they're not muted here. You can also expand these to make sure that they match what you're actually hearing the game on. So for example, if my game, or Spotify in this case, is coming through output device analog one two, I'll make sure that every instance of Steam's output is also set to the same device, just like that. This could fix your issue. If that doesn't solve your issue, head back to Steam, click the Steam button in the top left, followed by Settings, and in here, scroll down looking for the Remote Play tab. Choose this, make sure Enable Remote Play is ticked, obviously, scroll down to Advanced Streaming Options, and make sure here that you have Enable Advanced Host Options ticked, as well as Play Audio on Host ticked as well. The rest of the options here shouldn't really have too much of an effect on audio. It's mainly just play audio on host that you need to make sure is ticked. Then scrolling down, video and audio. Usually you'll make sure that the audio matches your current setup. So if you're playing stereo, just simply choose stereo here from the drop down for audio as something else may cause certain issues. Then for the next one, we'll hop over to the client side or your friend's side to see if we can solve the issue there. So for now, on your host, start up a game and start a remote play together with someone else who can't hear you. Or if you're using just remote play, connect to your PC and start playing a game. So here we go, I'm connecting to my fiance's session here. And of course, I have no sound. I'm pretty sure it's the beta issue that will cause this, but essentially on your controller, hold the button to the left of your Xbox icon or whatever it is, and you'll see this pop up here. Otherwise, if you're using mouse and keyboard, hold escape, and the same thing should happen. You should get this pop up that appears now. All you need to do is make sure that the audio down here is turned up and it's not muted. Simply by doing that, you could fix the issue, especially if this is all the way down to zero or almost zero, where you can just not hear anything. Roughly the same thing should apply for remote play instead of remote play together. Now, another fix that I tried is simply opening up your sound settings. So right clicking your sound icon and choosing sounds or to get to this same window in Windows 11, from system to sound, all the way to the bottom, more sound settings, you'll get back to this small window here. Inside of this, you should find scrolling through the playback tab, 
a device called Speakers Steam Streaming Microphone and Steam Streaming Speakers. If you don't see these, right click and make sure that both Show Disabled Devices and Show Disconnected Devices are both ticked. Then make sure that both of these look something similar to this and they don't have this little down icon next to it or some other kind of issue. Just right click them and choose enable to make sure that they both are set up. You can right click and test where you should see a sound come through them just to make sure that they are working. These seem to come pre-installed when you install Steam. So make sure that you don't uninstall these or something along those lines. They may be a little bit difficult to get back. Either way, with both of these enabled, hopefully things should be fixed at this point. No, you don't need to set your game to output to this specific device, just having them enabled may help things along. Now, on top of this, while we're still inside of this sound menu, scroll up to whatever audio device you're currently listening to, right click it, choose properties, and assuming you're still having issues streaming audio through remote play or remote play together, on the advanced tab, make sure that your default format is set to 16-bit for whatever option you're currently on. Mine's two channel, 24-bit, 96 kilohertz, so I'll be changing it to two channel channel 16 bit 96 kilohertz. It's a weird, very minor change, but for some people, this has been the solution that they've looked for all along. Simply changing this may be enough. For me, it just wasn't. And that being said, things seem real shaky with remote play audio on Steam, especially with the recent builds of Windows 11. Nobody really knows what the issue is, and Steam is obviously actively working on this, as I had no audio until I switched to the beta client. This has been an ongoing issue for many months, many years probably, but especially now with the recent builds of Windows, this seems to have been extrapolated way more, where tons more people are just having issues streaming audio. Of course, there is always the workaround. If you're trying to remote play with a friend, you can always stream the game through Discord so that they have audio. Or of course, if you're trying to use remote play, you can use something like Parsec or Moonlight and Sunshine. There are two great options to remotely connect to another PC and stream low latency, high quality video, especially good for gaming through a local network or even the internet. But with that being said, if you had any of the solutions, please let me know down in the comments below as this is an ongoing issue for many people. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.